Yinglong Bank from, uh, well, CES. Uh, it came in uh, what it looks like the same packaging that they ship out their alternators in. So of course, it has this and fragile ship FedEx. I apprehensive there a bit because I already know I have very bad experience with FedEx, but it looks like it's in good shape, probably in better shape than the alternator that I got shipped a little while ago. And let's see what's underneath. I haven't, I haven't even know, opened it. Let me see. I'm going to pick it out. Picks up just like uh, you would think. And inside that are six of these bad boys. And what do they look like? They look like that. That looks like it's in good shape. So let's take them out and check their voltage and see where they're resting. Okay, so here are these bad boys taken out of their little boxes. Only had one of these caps on the positive side of each of these. Let me make sure they're positive. And that's, uh, that's how they look. All right. The, um, I guess, They've been a little rubbed on or whatever. It's not a clean gloss look to them, but you know, who cares? Still need to, still need to check, make sure what voltage they're resting at, and then I'm gonna wire them up here in parallel. This one's got a little bit of crud in there. I don't know what the heck that is, but uh, we'll uh, cut some wire. My wire. Cut some of this wire. This is a uh, 16 gauge, 18 gauge, probably to be honest with you. Uh, no, it's at 16 gauge. And um, wire them up. I already did that to my top bank here. This one's the one I got from Dropping Hertz. A lot nicer. It has a, the uh, excess power logo, but I'm a little impatient. I mean, and I kind of got these were they're listed like a 285. Is it 285? Yes, it is 285 on their website. And then I posted it up on Facebook asking people what their experiences were with CES. I got very good feedback from people going, and this was on what Saturday, Sunday, going on a Monday, and they took them off the stock. So I called them up, and this, they said, Oh, no, well, we took them off the stock because of uh, the high demand or whatnot off the website. But he was able to get me this bank, but he charged me $15 for shipping. I'm okay with that. This is going to be $27 from Dropping Hertz. So I kind of made out what $20 difference and I get to put everything in now. I'm desperate to put these in because I, I'm just, I'm that close to finishing my bank. And of course it's gonna go in here. Let's see how it all looks after I balance them all out. So I was gonna use this wire to put them in parallel. Thinking it was the same gauge as my previous wire, but it is in fact way thinner. I think this is, in fact an 18 gauge and that is not acceptable especially with um well maybe if i want to take all week to do it so what i did is i have this oversized 14 gauge from sky high and i just cut some slits um if this is how it looks if you turn this see if i can do this with one hand safely probably not if i turn this it opens up and the idea now would be to loop it around, you see that, around each of these. I already have checked the voltage, 2.21, 2.22, 2.15, 2.16, 2.22, 2.16, not very far apart. But these on the bottom have been running for quite some time, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna daisy chain them here. First run them in parallel here, and then have the ends touching so that they meet. Um, crimp them t temporarily and to go from there that that actually should probably loop around right there in the bottom and this other one down here i'll figure out right now but yeah it's look at that thing it's a beautiful thing so something i noticed last time i was balancing this first bank is uh to check the resistance between one and the other when you're running them on parallel to see if they're almost ready to be assembled so from 
this resistance that I'm looking just at the positive because it doesn't matter from this point to this point I get about a uh, resistance of a uh, six about six ohms now from this point to it's the furthest point lead over here that end it's about 6.8 now <clears throat> before that this was around let's say about 15 so it's going it's going down when it's closer to less than one ohm resistance is when you know it's almost done balancing you want to check both sides the positive and the negative so uh, i'll show you uh, once once it's ready